Israel is a small country in the Middle East which declared its independence in 1948. There is two main cities in the country, which are Tel Aviv, its economic and technological city, and Jerusalem, its seat of government and claimed capital. The country has in modern days been highlighted for its non-stopping conflict with Palestinians in the area. Since most countries in the area support the Palestinian cause, the Jews find themselves in a very similar situation as the Kurds, as they're both surrounded by an hostile environment. Today we are going to take a look into the Kurdistan-Israel relations. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button beside if you don't want to miss any further video of us. Also check out the Kurdistan-Palestine relation videos. Link is in the description box below. The Jewish community is one of the oldest in the Middle East. The time of the Mesopotamian Jews can be dated back to the Babylonian conquest of the southern tribes of Judah in 586 BC. The Jews of Kurdistan lived freely alongside Muslims and Christians for generations. Today, most of the Kurdish Jews have immigrated to Israel so that they can live in a Jewish state. These Kurdish Jews can reminisce about the positive experiences that their fathers and grandfathers had within the Kurdish tribal society. It is due to these roots that the state of Israel today can connect on another level with the present Kurdish leadership, which mostly is a tribal one. The Barzani family has during times been one of the most recognized families in the Kurdish question. Today we know of many members such as Mustafa Barzani, Masud Barzani and Neshirvan Barzani. Looking at the first mentioned Mustafa Barzani, we see a man with special relations with the Kurdish Jews during the patronage of the Kurdish national movement. During the 1940s, Mustafa Barzani actually married the daughter of Jewish Zibari tribal leader in order to secure the ties between them with a pact marriage. This can be read in the book Jewish Subjects and Their Tribal Chieftains in Kurdistan, page 375. During the World War II and especially at the end of the British Mandate of Palestine in 1947, a drastic reduction of the Jewish population in Iraq began. This also affected the Kurdish Jews, especially in Bashur. In 1950, they was given the permission to leave Iraq within a year in condition that they renounce their citizenship. These Jews also had restrictions on them which eventually led to the fact that 90% of the Kurdish Jews left for Israel. The Israeli government now had reason to establish relations with the Kurdish rebels in Iraq during the 1960s and the 1970s. According to a Mossad official, Israel had military advisors at the headquarters of Mustafa Barzani, which trained and supplied the Peshmerga with firearms and anti-aircraft artillery. During the Operation Desert Storm, many Jewish organizations started campaigns for Iraq to stop their persecutions against Kurds. Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamir also called on US Secretary of State James Baker to defend the Kurds. When Saddam fell and KRG rose, the relations between KRG and Israel became more and more official. In 2006, Masul Barzani, the son of Mustafa Barzani, said, it is not a crime to have relations with Israel. If Baghdad established diplomatic relations with Israel, we could open a consulate in Erbil. The support of independence has several times been supported verbally by Israel. First time in 2014 when the Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, The Kurds are a fighting people that have proven political commitment and political moderation and they're also worthy of their own political independence. Within the referendum in 2017, Israel was the first and only country to support the Kurdistan independence. 
These actions were taken warmly by many of the world's Kurds, not at least the 200,000 Kurds living in Israel. Some Kurds seized the support of Israel as only a tactical one, to use the Kurds as a buffer against Iran. The saying, action speaks louder than words, comes in good here as Israel still lacks the actions proven for showing their will of Kurdish independence. The historical connection is still there, however, as Kurds and Jews always live together in peace and cooperation. What do you think? Is Jews our friends or enemies? Comment your opinion down below and support us by subscribing, sharing and liking this video.